In this example, I will briefly explain you about problem characteristics, a brief theory about it. Okay, so there are the following problem characteristics. I have written them in short. In books, the it they are a bit lengthier. I have written them in a shorter way. First one is is problem decomposable. Second one is can solution steps be ignored or undone. This is question mark. Okay, is the universe pre predictable? Question mark. Is good solution absolute or relative? Question mark. Is solution a state or path? Question mark. What is the role of knowledge? Question mark. Does the task require interaction with a person? Question mark. Okay. So these are the problem characteristics, and you have to explain all of them in exams. I will make them as this is first one, this is second one, this is third one, this is fourth. Fifth, sixth, and seventh. Okay, so for the first one, is problem decomposable? This is decomposing. This is decomposable. Okay, I have written here wrong. It is decomposable. D e c o m p o s a b l e. Okay, so in this one, you have to write the theory as. You can write here as here. We will have prob a problem, and we will divide it into sub problems, and we will solve those sub problems, and at the last we will combine answer of all of them to get the final result and final answer. So this is the way we will solve the decomposable problems, and for first one, the things that we can use is. uh like this you can write here as if for example we will use sorting to solve the problem so which which can be decomposing integration in integration also we will use the problems that is that are decomposable we will divide them into sub problems and then combine them to get the final answer solve them and then combine them to get the final answer now water jug problem water jug problem is non decomposable okay so this is the thing so i hope you understand this that this problem is decomposable it means that this problem is decomposable into a set of nearly independent smaller or easier sub problems yes integration and sorting problem can be decomposed water jug is not non decomposable okay now next thing can solution second one is can solution steps be ignored or undone can we do that in if we can do that in what cases we can do that and can solution steps be ignored or undone if they prove unwise okay so for this second one i will write it like this second one we have problems like ignorable recoverable and irrecoverable irrecoverable okay so the ignorable problems are the problems which are used in theorem proofing okay theorem proofing these are the problems in which we will start from initial point if we will not get solution again we will start from initial point only so we can ignore them problems can be solutions can be ignored we will start again from initial point to get the solution if we are not getting the solution then we will again start from the initial point recoverable problems are the problems we will we can uh, we are noting our steps we can undone our steps we can move back to previous then if we are not getting the thing that is that can give us the final result we will move back to the previous 
and then more previous and then more previous steps and we can do that only in the case if we are noting down our steps so these are the problems that can be undone and it this we can do in it in eight puzzle problem okay we can undone our steps and these are the irrecoverable problems are the problems which can't be undone an example of this will be chess we can also take the example of tic tac toe to understand this okay so this is the thing that you need to know about this after this we will have third third one which is is the universe predictable it means that is the problems universe predictable so is the problem in universe is predictable so to get the answer of this i am moving with the third point okay so here we have two types of problems one problem which will have certain outcome and other problem which will have uncertain outcome okay these are the two problems that we will have so in the problems where we will have certain outcome here outcome is fixed we know our destination or we know our goal and they are predictable also so the example of this will be uh, eight puzzle problem as in eight puzzle problem we know our destination or goal or we can also say that water jug problem okay now next certain uncertain outcome uncertain outcome problems are those where outcome is not fixed we don't know our destination or goal and they are not predictable so the example is chess we can't we don't know that who will win okay we are dealing with the environment two persons or two people or four people are playing in different games uh and they don't know the outcome okay so this is the third one now fourth one is is good solution absolute or relative is a good solution to the problem obvious without comparison to all other possible solutions is the fourth one so for fourth one we will have two types of sol problems one is absolute other is relative okay for absolute problems we are focusing on getting the solution and for relative problems we are focusing on getting the optimal solution for example percentage system and here the example that we can take is cgpa system cumulative grade point assessment here another example that we can use is tsp this is traveling salesman problem here we are focusing on getting of um, optimal solution and here we are just focusing on getting solution okay so this is the two types of it now fifth one is is solution a state or path okay if the desired solution a state of the world or a path to the state this is the question that is arising so the path will be in which we know our destination its example will be water jug problem okay water jug problem is its example in which we know our destination or goal and state is where after every move we have to look upon each state we don't know our destination okay here it is looking at each state so this is the the example of this will be uh, ch uh, chess or we can take example as tic tac toe so here we have to look at each state here one example real life example that we can take is 
here like this bank president eat a dish of pasta salad so see this pasta salad with a fork okay so here we have two things this bank and one thing is dish here bank can be a financial aid or bank can be a river bank dish can be a crockery dish can be a eatable thing so here we have to look upon each state if we will assume first one then if we are not looking at its second option then we will not get answer so this is a real life example just if you are not understanding this just write these uh, examples only and explain these two only okay i have already explained that to you now sixth one now sixth one is what is the role of knowledge and in if you want to uh, make a big question you can write it like this is a large amount of knowledge absolutely required to solve the problem or is knowledge important only to constrain constrain the search question mark so in short you can write it like this what is the role of knowledge here we have two things one is fixed knowledge okay and another is updated knowledge from the names only you will you are i hope you are understanding these things so in fixed knowledge knowledge is fixed we can't change it example in games like chess okay knowledge is fixed everything is already specified uh, we are uh, playing this game by using the rules that are already fixed updated knowledge in updated knowledge problem knowledge have to be updated it keeps on changing with time one real life example we, that we will take is elections in elections uh if a, a one candidate wants to win the win the election then he, he or she has to motivate people every day on a daily basis so that they will give him the vote he will act accordingly okay motivate public to vote me on a daily basis it requires updation he or she has to do different different uh, things that are beneficial for the people or he or she has to promise to that he will do that so uh, the example this is a real life example but the examples that that you can use is all medical systems in terms of ai okay so example that you can write is all medical systems in terms of ai that is artificial intelligence you are you can write it yourself okay so this is the thing or you can write here as all mundane tasks for common sense reasoning require updated knowledge okay in medical systems there are so many changes so this is also the thing now the last na, last one i will explain you last one is does the task require interaction with a person or we can write it in a longer way like this can a computer that is simply given to the problem return the solution or will the solution to the of the problem require interaction between the computer and a person so in short you can write it like this does the task require interaction with a person okay for the last one that is does the task require interaction with a person we are having problems like solitary task one is solitary and another is conversational in solitary there is no interaction between a machine and a user or human you can say that here we will give basic rules and laws to the computer and machine will work according to that 
there is no interaction between them so these types of tasks are used in theorem theorem proving theorem when we are we have to prove theorems we will use these theorem theorem proving we will use them okay after this conversational in conversational task there is intermediate communication among machine and user and it requires reasoning one thing reasoning things like problems in medical diagnos diagnosis we require interaction between a machine and a user so you can take examples like medical diagnosis so this is the thing that you, you need to know and you can add more theoretical things in it i have just explained you the basic things and i have written the all the tasks in a shorter way i hope you can uh, get basic things from this